All right, welcome back to Free For All. The Texas Rangers snapping that four game losing streak, defeating the Boston Red Sox six to four. And joining me live again from Globe Life Field is Mike Ducey. You are here with us and you got a chance to chat with a special guest to get some more Rangers perspective, Mike. That's right, Sam. Dave Raymond's in his seventh year as the primary TV play by play man for the Texas Rangers. He suffered through some lean years. Clearly, he hopes that this year will be different. I did catch up with Dave before the game and asked him how he deals with the ups and downs of this long Major League Baseball season. I think probably the biggest challenge is, is um, trying to maintain that, that distance a little bit, right? Just being objective and trying to watch the games and talk about what we're seeing objectively and not letting that emotion get in because it's just inevitable right you spend as much time covering a team you're with this team every day I, I'm, I'm sure the fans they understand where my sympathies lie you're trying not to be a homer but and you also try not to get too frustrated because you see the same things that the fans see um, so yeah that, that's probably that's probably the most difficult part when it gets really intense like this is trying to stay in that uh, I guess that professional zone. We're airing this or we're recording this rather before the Tuesday night game. So who knows what will happen on Tuesday night. Monday was a game that has become all too typical with the bullpen losing a late lead. You wonder sometimes how can this possibly be happening over and over. You've called baseball for a long time now and this this is just a really unusual almost historic in a bad way trend. Well my, I think really it is historic in a bad way trend right now. If you look at the save percentage for this team for a team that has saved at least 25 games in a year it is the worst save percentage in history. Um, yeah it, it, it does kind of defy explanation at times and yet that's my job right to try and figure out and explain every night why something is happening. Um, and look that's my that's that's my cross to bear that's really not a big deal. I I can't help when I'm watching these games but to think about Boach and Mike Maddox or for that matter the guys in the bullpen. They're trying. They get hot at times, right? And some of them are pitching well, but then that night, it's just a, it's a little flare. It's a bleeder. It's a seeing eye single that starts the madness. Last night, it was a walk that started the problem. Um, I go back to that that 2-1 game that they played on that last road trip in Cleveland. The first hit off Leclerc, 66 miles per hour off the bat, wouldn't get a speeding ticket, and that thing drops in for a hit, and then then it happens. So. That sort of stuff to me is is what makes this so incredible is that you could have that much bad luck night after night after night. It just seems impossible. What's fascinating about this race is that we know it will continue to be a race because of the nature of the schedule and the fact that they've got Seattle seven times here in the last dozen games. That makes it fun no matter what. Indeed. And I and I also think you know it's impossible not to find yourself kind of looking at your own belly button too much right and you're thinking what's wrong with my situation what's wrong with my team and we get fired up and we get frustrated as fans when if you look around in Houston losing record for the month Seattle losing record for the month Toronto struggle we, we, we swept them in four games there all these fan bases are going through the exact same thing there's a little bit of panic mixing with apprehension frustration and it's it's not unique to the Rangers. We're, we know what we're dealing with. We've been feeling it for a while now and it's not a lot of fun when it's like that. But it's happening up and down. All these contenders are going through it. The Atlanta Braves have been horrible this month. They have a worse bullpen ERA than the Rangers if Ooh. you can believe that. So um, it's not just the Texas Rangers. Let's get a one shot of Dave here. Dave if you would just, just send it back to the studio and, and our Sam Gannon if you would. All right. Well listen we're looking forward to a great win a great game tonight. But the only thing that's going to matter tonight is the smiling face of Sam Gannon back in the studios. Back to you. Well I aim to please Dave and I have quite the smile. So Whatever. here you go. <laughs> <It's> pathetic. <laughs> Mike. Uh, again, but he was a good game predictor tonight. Uh, again, the Texas Rangers getting a big time win over the Boston Red Sox six to four. We'll see what they do tomorrow in that afternoon game, Deuce. Yeah, close it with Boston here tomorrow afternoon. We'll see you again soon, Sam. Thanks.